everyone, welcome back to another walkthrough video. This is a new version of our Samra walkthrough video, which at the moment on December 7th, which is the day I'm recording this, that video has almost 38,000 views, so it's a popular video. Uh, I did notice so a lot of those people that have watched it haven't subscribed, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos. Keeps you up to date on things that are going on in Costa Rica as well, showing you different places you can go through our travels as well. Um, and if you want to experience Samra to its finest, come and stay with us at Sea Casa. We have modern shipping containers that are nice and clean and comforts that you're going to be used to back home and but get to go out and do all the adventures. And speaking of adventures, we can set up your shuttles to and to Samra and around Costa Rica, as well as all your activities and quad rentals and things like that. So just go to our website, seacastasamra.com. Has all the information on there. Just click on the tabs and uh, it'll guide you through all that stuff. And uh, you can email us and set that stuff up. So yeah, we're just gonna start with a walkthrough here. Um, there's some new things in town as well, so we're gonna pinpoint those in the walkthrough, as well as I'm gonna do something different on this walkthrough. We're gonna have some graphics pop up and showcase uh, certain things in town, like the doctor, as well as places that we've done videos at, so that you can go back on our channel and find those and watch the videos on different restaurants and things like that. So yeah, I'm just at the top of town coming in from Nicoya. And it's gonna go straight down to the beach. So yeah, we're gonna get walking. I'm gonna walk st straight down and then to the beach and then across the uh, parallel drive where all the restaurants are. And then I'm gonna come back to where Dr. Freddy's office is. And then we're gonna go down that way. I'm gonna show you that as well. And uh, some key features down there, which is the way to see Castle. So yeah, let's go for a walk. So this is Dr. Freddy's office and he is a, a mini medical clinic. He actually has a lot of uh, equipment there to take care of you and if it's something that he cannot help you with or uh, go beyond helping what he can do, he will uh, get an ambulance and send you to Nicoya. Or if you have coverage, you can get a helicopter to San Jose if it's something major. All right, so we're gonna go down this road after. This is the road that goes over to where Super China is, Maxi Pally, the bank. I'll show you that stuff as well, but we're gonna continue down the main road to the beach.
All right, so down this little gravel road just past Limey's, which used to be Frank's. Uh, if you go down there, there is the BCR right here behind this truck, as well as our favorite butcher. Uh, you can get any kind of meat there. They'll freshly ground beef or pork, whatever you want. And then our friend Carla's restaurant, Cantina de Baco, which is new, is at the end there. So definitely go in, stop in, and uh, have some tapas and say hi to Carla. And then there's another restaurant down there as well. So yeah, definitely don't miss that street. So this is something new. There used to be a store here, which no longer exists. And we got a new sign, uh, a Samra sign, which they do in all the little towns. So we're just gonna walk out to the main beach entrance here, to the pier. Um, you can go to some restaurants on the beach here as well, which are lined. We're gonna do a video guiding you through Playa Samra letting you know the different entrances and uh, what's available in that area as far as restaurants or what the surf's like, things like that. So stay tuned for that video. Again, hit the subscribe, hit the little bell icon and you'll see that pop up when we release that. So just over there where Love Burger used to be is our favorite barbecue restaurant, El Lagar. So we are going to be doing a video with them, so stay tuned for that one as well. We just got to set up a day to do that. But yeah, they're right on the beach now, which is awesome. You can go get an amazing barbecue, a steak or ribs or whatever, fish, chicken, and uh, yeah, be right on the beach. It's a nice setting. But yeah, check out this beach day here in December. All right, we're gonna continue walking through the town. We're gonna to go along the street that runs parallel with the beach and uh, show you that where all the restaurants, things like that are, natural center. And uh, I'll explain some more in that area as well. All right, so right on the corner, you're gonna find the natural center. We did two videos for two different restaurants in here. We did one for Mr. Pelicano, which is a seafood restaurant. Definitely uh, go check that out and uh, have some good seafood. Their tuna there is the best in town, as well as a la mozzarella, which is the best pizza in town. It's made in a, a fire uh, oven, like an old school pizza oven that uh, they use wood. So yeah, go watch those videos and uh, check out these restaurants when you're in Zamora. And don't forget to uh, get a coconut from Alan. Coldest coconuts in town. <laughs> we always get uh, hydrated from Alan and his cold coconuts. You'll see him around town all the time.
All right, so yeah, this road continues just parallel to the beach and there's some uh, places to stay as well as restaurants, a sushi place down here and then uh, El Ancla, which is one of our favorites as well. We've done some video work with them. Yeah, they have really good food and it's right on the beach and it's not super expensive, which is nice. Locally owned with a family we know and yeah, we love going there. So definitely go to El Ancla. I'll show you where it's at with the little graphic up here. Be sure to check them out. All right, so this is El Anka here, as you saw with the graphic. Uh, if you go in through the gate here or from the beach, here you just walk through the parking area. There's a lot of chihuahuas, which we love chihuahuas, so say hi to them. And then uh, the restaurant's right on the beach. Again, really good food there. We go there quite often. They have the best chicken fingers, <laughs> if you like chicken fingers. And then they also have really good seafood, casados. And then on uh, Thursdays and Sundays, they do a chi frijo, which is a traditional Costa Rican dish that was made in San Jose and now they have it in this area which they hadn't had when we first moved here so yeah definitely go there on a Thursday or Sunday and have the Chief Rio you won't be disappointed so we're gonna walk back now and uh, go up the other side street here show you that as well as where the turnoff is to go to the uh, farmers market which is in the park All right, so I'm coming back up to the natural center and there's a street here, as you can see, that uh, goes back up to the road to go to Playa Carrillo. This is FJ's out of the way. So yeah, up this street here. Uh, if you go up there and you take the first right, the street that's on the right, and then the next right, you'll actually get to the farmer's market. Note that's on every Saturday. I also did a video on that, so definitely uh, go on our, on our channel and search for Samara Farmer's Market and you'll see that and get an idea of what you can expect at the farmer's market here. I think it's grown a bit, I haven't been for a while, but uh, it's a really good place to get all your fresh fruits and vegetables as well as handcrafted items from locals and uh, things like that. But some things you can't even find in the market, so it's good to go there. And then at the end of the street is uh, Doña Lechuga. We get all our veggies and stuff there. And uh, there's also a store there and a couple restaurants. So yeah, definitely don't miss that corner when you're here in Samara. All right, so I'm back at the main corner here to go down to where the bank is, which is down this road. Dr. Freddy's behind me. So we're gonna walk down there, show you guys what to expect this way. Again, this is the route to Sikasa, and we're only like a 10 minute bike ride from Sikasa. We do provide two bikes per rentals. We uh, take that in consideration when booking your stay, and uh, it's a good way to get around, good exercise, and uh, you get to have all the sights, sounds, and smells instead of driving in a car. So yeah, let's go for a walk down here and show you what to expect on this main street of Samara.
Right, so this is another little area that has some restaurants and stuff. If you guys want a really good smoothie or juice, come to Organic Land. Come see Fire. <laughs> and his dad. <laughs> and his dad Noriel. His dad Noriel actually uh, helped us find our property, so a uh, big shout out to him. And uh, yeah, definitely go there. And if you're in here in town for a while, he does like a, a customer appreciation thing, so definitely ask him about that. All right, so here's the Banco Nacional. This bank machine, you can get 200,000 colones out at a time. They don't do US if you have a international card. If you have a Banco Nacional card, you can get US out. So yeah, just keep that in mind. The other bank you can get US out, the Bank of Costa Rica, which I showed you by Limey's. But yeah, this one you can get the most out at a time. And this is the main hardware store where we get a lot of our stuff for our builds, for Casa and other places we built. So this place is new, M Express, which is a Hmong or Mungay, I'm not sure how to say it. So it's like a Best Buy in North America. You get everything from a cell phone up to a bed or furniture, bikes, uh, tires, motorcycles, <laughs> things like that. So yeah, it's uh, convenient having that in town if you don't have a contact like we do in Nicoya and you just want to get something for your home, you can order it there. They do fridges and things like that too. This is another beach access road as well. So you can go down there and park and get to the beach or bike down and walk, whatever your mode of transportation is. All right, so this is the Super New China Market. It's a large market, a, a supermarket. So you get pretty much everything there. They have a lot of uh, ethnic foods there as well, different sauces and things if you're into making Thai food or anything Asian or things like that. A lot of Italian ingredients. It's uh, very well stocked, it's big, so it's not super hot in there. We usually shop here or the Iguana Verde, which is close to Sikasa and has a lot of the same stuff. You can see uh, Shana's aunt's CRV right there. She's shopping. But yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the markets we go to and it is well stocked. And then right beside it is this but yeah, this road will take you down to Las Olas Bar and uh, Samurai Sushi, which we did a video on. So I'll uh, just again look on our restaurant playlist. You'll find that video as well. So yeah, that's that's a good place to go. Christian's done a really good job. Christian O'Mal and David, they did a good job at making that place nice. It's one of the best beach places to go to now. So yeah, this road just continues to another little neighborhood which has uh, where La Katrina was, which is now Frida's. Gary still runs that. So Gary and Carla have their own restaurants now. So he's there and Carla's back at that other place. And uh, just gonna go up to Iona Cafe here and uh, explain a little bit about that as well. Some locals happy to be in the video. And we're happy to share local businesses and stuff too and uh, help support the community. That's what these videos are about. Oh, you hit by a motorcycle. All right, so this is Iona Cafe. This is where we get a lot of our coffee from when it's open. So actually we met Ben who helped start this. It's a whole thing that he's doing here which we're going to try and learn more about we do want to feature them in one of our videos but yeah so if you go in here you can either uh get a coffee to have here coffee to go or they do sell bags of coffee you can get uh, whole bean or ground cool thing about the iona coffee iona cafe is that it's one of the only blue zone coffees in the world so nicoya peninsula is a blue zone and you look it up go on the googles and search what is a blue zone and where they are and then nicoya peninsula is one of them and we're like smack middle in it so yeah this is one of the only blue zone coffees 
which is uh, super rare and it is really good. We, uh, we have it every morning and we love it. So yeah, definitely come here and buy your coffee. All right, so that is the walkthrough of Samra, December 7th, 2021. A few changes since we did the last one, which was in August of 2019. Thought we'd uh, update it a bit for you, show you what to expect. There is a lot of building going on in Costa Rica right now, and Samra is no exception. There's a lot of houses and things going up, as well as businesses. Uh, our friend Ronnie's doing a furniture store down there. Just different things like that. So yeah, definitely uh, all these little beach towns are growing. Some people aren't gonna like that. Uh, some people are, because it's convenient to be able to get stuff when you live here. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough video. And again, if you guys want to experience Samara to its fullest, come stay with us at Casa in a shipping container. It's unique and clean and modern. And remember, we do have those two bikes per unit to use while you're staying with us to get around easier in Samara. The beach is only 900 meters from Casa, which is the best end of the beach. Again, stay tuned for that beach video to explain different parts of Playa Samara. I don't want to get hit here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that's going to be a good video, informational video for you when you're staying here. Um, again, 900 meters from Sea Casa. So it's about a 10 minute walk, which it's all flat, super easy to get to. That end of the beach is very calm, even at high tide. And so it's like a swimming pool, water is warm. A lot of people that come here, they're like, oh wow, <laughs> the water's so warm here. It's like a bath, which is nice. It's not a big shock. So yeah, and that's it. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. It helps getting this video out more people seeing it. Also, again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fan. Of the Samara walkthrough at the moment of filming this, which is December. I gotta get one of these juices. You'll see these around Costa Rica all the time, these little juice cans. Hola, amigo. Hola, hola. Uh, uno, uh, Jugo de naranja. Con mucho gusto. And it's Tengo a milk. naranja, caña. <laughs> so one mil for an orange juice. Ah. You got uh, jugo caña, you said? Si. Sí? Yeah, which is like a sugar cane, right? Yeah. Az azúcar. <laughs> Salvate, Marga? Just, yeah. Oh, you're using the paper straw. Yeah. Awesome, perfect. Gracias, buen día, chao. Yeah, you can't beat fresh orange juice, especially after walking through town. Don't cry, we gotta live before we die. I'll be beat on the demoni. Yeah, you're gone, but I'ma just do my best and try. Doing my best to hold up at night. Perdiendo mi mente, and I feel it. Distraction is como I need it. Yeah, it hurts so much, but I need it. I need to feel Las cosas en la vida